Now, fall entertaining brings with it all the beauty of the harvest. And Shona has set this gorgeous table for our Thanksgiving feast. <laughs> Beautiful table. I mean, some of your best work, Aww. I might add. And I love the fact that you set it for 10. So everyone's coming over. Right? Listen, the more the merrier. If we've got the room, let's have all the things, all the people and all the things. Yes. We deserve it, especially this time of year. But I have to tell you about this gorgeous table. It's beautiful. It's beautiful color. It's solid wood. Yes, it's 10 feet long. But let me tell you, it's called the transformer table. And there's a reason for that. Okay. As Randy and Monique are going to help show, you can see that it starts off at that small little desk. Monique is pulling it out and oh. Randy's putting the leaves in from the coffee table that is beside it. So you can add as many leaves oh. as you want. And as you can see, underneath the starter table, there's a little block. That's actually the big long bench that oh unfolds gosh. to be a 10 person or anywhere in between tables. So I love that it can be your everyday table for four or six, whatever your household needs. Yeah. And then on the occasion of celebrations or dinner parties, you can make it up to 10 feet. That is amazing. Yeah. But the best thing about that is the fact that the leaves stay as part of the coffee table when they're not being used. I agree. You get a second useful, pretty piece of furniture yes. with it. Genius. Just genius. Because we used yeah. to have the leaves like somewhere in the dining room that nobody can see them like by the hush. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But now they they actually have a place to live. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Um, the inspo for this, because okay. this is gorgeous. It's deep purples. It's burgundies. It's lovely. What inspired you? Okay, what inspired me? Thanksgiving is a celebration of harvest and all yeah. the blessings that we have, but it's really the harvest and the bounty of all the things that come at this time of year. Mm -hmm. So I say to everybody, look where you live and your surroundings and take the inspiration from that. And so where I live, as you know, Niagara on the Lake, that's yeah. wine country. Yes. And so I pulled some apples from literally my front yard for the apple trees that we have. And I asked the farmer who has the land around our house, because we always want to ask any kind of farmer's permission. Right. But for, for traveling in the country, you want to take pictures. That's private property and their business. So right. I asked him permission if I could take a bunch of the grapes from the vines and use them as the inspiration throughout the table. Yeah. And I wanted to avoid anything pumpkin. <laughs> I just, <laughs> She's I was She's over it. the pumpkin. Some people are loony for pumpkins. Yes. You're like, no, 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 I want the grapes. And I love that you did the grapes. Yeah. They're beautiful. They're like out of a picture book. But yeah. these are not for eating, are they? No, these are wine grapes. Eating yeah. grapes and wine grapes are totally different. And so these are wine grapes. But speaking of wine, yes. one of the questions I get so often is, what wine should I be drinking with this meal or that meal mm. or this celebration? And I, my number one, I say drink what you like yes because rules are there for guides yeah. not for stickiness but yeah. the wine that I'll recommend like for our dinner party today let's say is Bonterra and it's a California wine and what I like about it is it's an organic wine we've got the Cab and the Chardonnay here but they have different varietals mm -hmm. it's an organic wine so we're really paying attention to using organic food in our meals and nourishing our bodies like that where we can so I say take that into your wine as well that you're serving your family and yeah. your guests yeah I've definitely made the switch over to organic but it's mostly yeah. because I need to keep the hot flashes under control <laughs> I will do anything just to help that. Okay, talk to me about how you set your table, because that's the thing that I find is so stunning. Okay, so taking the inspiration from all the colors that you mentioned, it's also on trend right now, those jewel tons, the burgundies, the teals, the greens, yeah. the things like that. And so that was easy to pull out from the grapes. Um, and from the apples, I use the wicker chargers here for to bring in that more that natural. You know, I've got the grape vines on here, so I Lovely. brought in the wicker for that. These plates, everything here is pretty much from HomeSense or my personal stash at my house. Yeah. Um, these plates, I love them because they're this gray kit color, but it's a warm gray. But these could easily be your everyday plates. There isn't a need to go out and buy brand new everything every holiday. No. Um, and so these are incorporating your brand new plates. When it comes to the napkins, I use these kind of mink color, this, this warm brown color napkin. But for those, because I like that, what you're saying, that yeah. monochromatic kind yeah. of warm, cozy, elegant, but casual look. Totally. But I want to show you how easy it is to switch it out. If you want a pop of color, go ahead too. and add a napkin like that to your table. Mm -hmm. If you're someone who really digs florals, go ahead and get a fall and even unexpected nice. colors. It doesn't have to be that oranges and browns. Yeah. Add a floral to that with the fall colors. And if you are one of the pumpkin lovers and the gourd lovers, <laughs> I'm here for you. I just found one without an orange. And this just has that more sophisticated kind of color palette to it. Yeah. And it goes on this table as well. And if you don't have 10 of all these napkins, you can mix and match these into the other ones as long as they're all the same tones. Yes, there are literally no rules. There were no rules before. Before, but now coming off like post pandemic, there are really no rules. Yes. I don't even know if you have to wear pants. Like, you know, what are the. Yeah. <laughs> it's just whatever. 
<laughs> Let's sit down and meet. We get to be together. This is amazing. Just so be, do what you want to do. Just be happy. Just That's be happy. the only rule. That's it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so when it comes to being happy, I mean, this actually makes me very happy. I don't know if I'd be able to do it because you followed certain instructions when it comes to the table setting. Well, again, guides versus rules. Yeah. But I'll test you to see yeah. if your table setting knowledge is what you think it is. So uh -oh. if you come down here, there She's is... She's going to quiz me. While she quizzes me, I just want to point out uh, that our audience is right now enjoying uh, a little sippity sip. They're enjoying a little wine while I correctly set this table. You guys have some fun while I sweat here. They're all over the legal drinking age, so all these sips are in order. Enjoy yes. it, everyone. What would you like me to do? Okay, take a look at this place setting right here, and mm -hmm. there are three mistakes in it. There Can are? you find the three? <laughs> Can you find it the... It looks perfect! <laughs> Can you find the three quote unquote mistakes? This is your place setting, right? Yes. Here. Okay, I believe that the knife needs to be flipped this <gasps> way. Tracy! Yes. I Did am, I get it? Yes, oh, and that's one of my favorite ones. Okay. The blade of the knife should not be facing outside, it should be facing inside. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm focused on what else is wrong. I need to win. Okay, okay. that's one for one. So I feel like this baby needs to be on the outside. Oh, I don't know sure why. Does. I don't know why. It's oh, it's sure the order does. that you eat in. Yes, it sure does, Tracy. You've moved the salad fork to the outside, not the inside. If you're overwhelmed by cutlery, you eat from the outside in right. of each course. That's what I taught my and kids. And so that's where they should be. Okay, you got one more. Oh, my goodness, Tracy. You are freaking me out. Go! on the inside and the wine glass goes on the outside. Do I get a sip for yeah. me? <laughs> yes, you do. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> oh, cheers. You're excited. Shona, thank you so much. She's going to be back a little later with a fun game to play this Thanksgiving. All This, this game is good because I won. The competition <laughs> might get a bit fierce, though. We're going to break. Stay with us. Cheers.